Ashley. Allison, we'll check back in later. Thanks so much. An accused killer comes face to face with his mother for the first time since both were arrested four years ago. Yeah, interesting today. Today in Pike County, Angela Wagner taking the stand to testify against one of her sons, George Wagner. WLWT News says Todd Dykes is in Waverly and has the update for us. Well, after spending four days listening to Jake Wagner testify against his older brother, George, jurors today heard from both boys, mother, Angela Wagner. Looking somewhat frail and wearing a drab jail uniform, the 52 year old Wagner took the stand around 1015 this morning, glancing only briefly at her 31 year old son, George. Investigators say Angela, her husband, Billy and their sons, George and Jake executed a plan to kill eight members of the Roden family during a single night in April 2016. Now, the first half of Angela Wagner's testimony testimony today centered on her family's deceitful past deeds, including burning houses down in order to collect insurance money and stealing fuel. As was the case last week with Jake, Angela Wagner opted out of letting her testimony be broadcast outside the courtroom. Also, just like Jake, Angela has confessed to her role in the crimes. Her admission came five months after Jake described how the homicides unfolded. We said that if anyone else came forward and could tell us something that was consistent with what we had just heard, that would do two things for us. It would, it would demonstrate that Jake was telling us the truth, right? Um, and it would just be stronger corroborating evidence that, that another member of the Wagner family was giving us the same information without knowing exactly what Jake had said, right? Um, and that person that came forward was Angela Wagner. Well, that was Prosecutor Angela Canepa during her opening statement. As for Angela Wagner, she was back on the stand after the jurors took a lunch break. And I'll have more on what else she had to say coming up later on News 5. For now, reporting in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.